ceremonial dipping of the tire. And this is the official beginning of the Ohio to Erie Trail. Hello friend humans, Lucas Levy Keppel here, and I am so excited to begin the Ohio to Erie Trail. This is Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm actually at the trailhead of the Little Miami uh, Trail, and uh, this is the Little Miami Golf Shop, which is a place that I'm going to leave the car for the next six days or so. It was $16 for six days. It's really hard to beat that rate. Um, this ride is gonna take me 326 miles across of Ohio, going from Cincinnati through Columbus and Akron and Cleveland at the end. To begin with though, because this isn't exactly at the very beginning of the trail, I need to hop onto a bus with the bike partially loaded, and then I'm going to fill the rest of the loading when I get back to this location along the trail, since this is actually along the trail that I need to go. So come with me as we hop onto a uh, bus with the bike and get to the start of the trail in Cincinnati. So my original plan to uh, catch a bus into downtown and ride the trail from the beginning to the end had only a small hitch, and that is that the bus doesn't run in the middle of the day. Good morning. So instead, I need to ride an hour down into Cincinnati to actually begin the trail properly, and then ride all the way back for another hour before getting on the road. So. What well, was going to be a 40 mile day is now going to be a 50 mile day. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Ole, 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 ole. So as long as we're heading into Cincinnati, why don't I talk a little bit about the city? On the surface, the name Cincinnati comes from a Roman general slash farmer named Cincinnatus, who was called to be dictator of Rome in a time of political turmoil. And when the turmoil was over, he gave up willingly the dictatorial powers I went back to being a gentleman farmer. Of course, while that's a nice legend and all, Cincinnati is actually named for George Washington, who was, seemed, who was seen to have done the exact same thing, took control of a new nation, in this case, rather than dictatorial control. And then after, after a short term, two terms in office, gave up the power to the next person, willingly recognizing the need for democracy. And there's like a million places named Washington in the USA, as you would expect. So I, I applaud the Ohioans for coming up with a creative way to honor Washington and have a city that stands out. Behind me are seven pillars that catch the sun's rays and tell the time of day by where the shadow falls. It's a giant sundial made out of these amazing timbers that are charred on some ends. This is at Cincinnati's Friendship Park. It's just a beautiful landmark along the way. Thank you. 
ceremonial dipping of the tire. There we go. Cincinnati, Ohio, the Ohio River. And this is the official beginning of the Ohio to Erie Trail. 326 miles from here to Cleveland. And it all begins here. This river, the Ohio River, the border between Ohio and Kentucky, and it flows all the way to the Mississippi. It was one of the major trade links in the world before railroads and automobiles. The rest of this journey up to Cleveland is going to take us uh, along many of these canal routes, showing just how the settlement of Ohio changed from a, a rags to riches environment. And I can't think of a better place to start than here in Cincinnati. So let's go back on the trail. This is a steep hill. Maintenance, okay, great. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. <sighs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, finally made it back to the Little Miami Golf Center where my car is going to sit for the next, whatever, five, six days. Back underway on the Ohio to Erie Trail. Come 24 miles today. the extra 12 into the city and back. Ah. It's about time to go somewhere new. I don't think I'm going to make it anywhere close to where I had planned to get to today. So, while I was eating at the Skyline, I got a call back from one of the campsites down the road. But even that one is a little too far away. So, we're going to end up at the campsite that is 16 miles from Cincinnati. Not very far at all. But hey, getting a little bit of a late start and having to do the extra hour and back 
It adds up. But at least now we get to experience the Little Miami Trail portion of the Ohio to Erie Trail. And this is supposed to be beautiful. So let's look forward to it. All right, friend humans, this is my setup for the night. I'm here in Milford, and uh, it's nice to be under a shelter like this. Hopefully I'll stay warm, shouldn't be too bad. Some nice church bells ringing in the background. The road work that had been going on is mostly complete. Hard to complain about too much here. I'm gonna make myself a little dinner and then see what happens with the, uh, the sun going down. A little disappointed in myself. This is only 16 and a half miles from Cincinnati, from the trailhead. I mean, as the crow flies. But because of my back and forth today, I found that I uh, just was pretty exhausted altogether. Started out too late. I um, went back over the same ground, which was a little demoralizing. And then, uh, yeah, so here we are. But if I can wake up early and be refreshed, hopefully I can hit the trail again and hit the 80 miles we have until London, which is our next planned stop. Everything goes wrong a little bit in the beginning. That's okay. We'll find a way through. I know that God is there with us, finding the way, leading the way forward. 